Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions, equal fractions. And we're going to use our pizza, Miss Beryl's favorite food, to um, demonstrate that. All right, so you're starving, you've been at school all day, and you get home, and mom has made a pizza. But mom, only cut your pizza into two pieces, one, two. And you were starving, as I said, so you decided, gosh, I need to eat one whole, of the, one, one half of this pizza, this whole side over here. So you ate one of the two pieces. There were two parts to that whole pizza, one, two, and you ate one of those parts. So you ate one half. The next day, well, same thing happened. You were starving and you came home and mom had made a pizza again. This time though, she cut the pizza into four pieces. Well, you were just as hungry as you were the day before. So you ate this piece and this piece. Now, she cut it into four pieces, so let's see what that looks like. That would be one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece. And you ate one, two of the four. So what you ate was two, oops, two of the, of the four parts. All right, now what do you think happened the next day? The next day you're hungry again, must be growing, and mom cut your pizza, not into four pieces, and not into two pieces, but she cut it into eight pieces. Let's see if that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she cut it into eight pizza, pieces. <clears throat> and again, you were starving, famished. So you ate the same amount you ate the other days. This half. Do you see how it's still the same amount. So you ate one, two, three, four of the eight pieces. Four of the eight. Now, what do we notice when we look at this? Well, the first thing we notice is that the same amount is shaded on each. It's this left side. The entire left side is shaded, which means if it was a half there, it's also a half here. So we're saying then that two-fourths is equal to a half. And then here, we're saying that four-eighths is equal to two-fourths, which is equal to one-half. So as you're looking at this, it doesn't really matter <clears throat> how this was cut, as long as you eat that one side that is still considered a half. So let me give you a little bit more example. If, if you went home, and your mom said, you have to eat the same amount as you ate yesterday. Well, instead of eating one piece, if you ate one piece on this second day here, on this day, if you only ate one piece, you wouldn't eat the same amount. You have to eat two pieces to equal the same amount. And on this day, the third day, you have to eat one, two, three, four pieces to eat the same amount. So just because it is cut into smaller pieces does not mean you can, you, it is not equivalent. You just have to eat more. If you look at it like this um, another way, and if you're getting confused, you can kind of shut your ears off here. But another way to look at this is like this. Um, she cut it into twice as many pizzas, pieces, so you have to eat twice as much. One times two is two, two times two is four. Now here, on this pizza, she doubled it again. Two times two is four, and four times two is eight. So if she doubled the number of pieces, you have to eat twice as much to equal the same amount, as long as the pizzas were the same size to begin with. And that is the basic of equivalent fractions.